So, a few weeks back, I was um, listening to my Bible, and I, I happened to be in Proverbs, and, um, you know, something that really stuck out with me was, um, I kept, I kept hearing, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It was a common type of theme in uh, Proverbs. In fact, uh, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And I just tried to, tried to kind of dissect what that means. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Um, you know, uh, the Bible teaches that, I mean, it, not even the Bible, I mean, if we even look up the definition of what wisdom is, you know, it's, it's knowledge of the truth. Now, obviously we all know here that there's knowledge, there's, there's worldly wisdom and there's godly wisdom. Um, and obviously we're here we're focused on godly wisdom. And what is the, you know, the question is, is what is the truth? And Jesus said, in John 14, uh, verse, chap verse number 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, Jesus is the truth. God is the truth. That's, that's, that's the most important thing. And, and, you know, that's what we need to fear. We need to fear God. And, and the reason I think the, the Bible says that the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom is because without that we, without that initial fear you know when, when somebody gives you the gospel or, or when we're out giving the gospel we're, we're telling people about hell you know hell is a, a nasty place that nobody wants to nobody in their right mind that really thinks about it and and truly believes God's word and the truth wants to go there like nobody wants to go there it's a fire it's a place of fire torment torture you know and and that's why we go out we go out to to preach the gospel because we don't want people to go to hell Man. you know like uh, it's it, it's it's a nasty place and and it's it's made for sinners who don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ right. so in order to to begin understanding wisdom godly wisdom we need to have the fear of the lord we need to know that 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 god's hate is kindled is is what kindles the fire in hell and 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 we don't want to go there and we got and we need to and we need to that's even more a reason to to go out soul winning and and literally preach the the gospel to every creature and th and that's exactly what we're commanded to do um the fear of the Lord and wisdom go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Uh, when we begin to fear the Lord, we begin to know what the truth is and how the, the, the Bible defines it. Um, and like I said, the, the first step toward wisdom is the fear of the Lord because we can now get saved and know Jesus Christ and what He did for us by shedding His perfect blood on the cross. Uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 says and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell so you know what is this verse teaching is he it's teaching that that the only true fear that we should have is of God we should fear the Lord because he's the 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 one that can send both our body and our soul into eternal hell and damnation and even though we all deserve that obviously we know we have Jesus Christ so it's a <coughs> I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is 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 Jesus Christ and 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 knowing the truth is a perfect example of of what fear of the Lord is and 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 how it is the beginning of wisdom um, salv I, uh, salvation is 
knowledge of the truth. So uh, kind of going with that same concept. Um, you know, we don't we don't have to 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 pay for our sins. We we all all we need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. It's, it's that simple. Um, there's no work to be done. It's already been done, you know. Um, we have the, the great song, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. And, and, and that's another reason, um, you know, it, it, that we should do work for Jesus and, 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 and want to fulfill his commandments and the things that he's laid out for us um, which kind of brings me to my next point um, which is what you know what if you want more wisdom like how, how do you go about doing that well uh, Ecclesiastes chapter number 12 verse 13 says let us hear the let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments this is the whole duty of man if you're ever wondering like what your purpose in life is, I mean, it, it spells it out right there. Fear God and keep His commandments. You, if you want more wisdom, keep His commandments. The, 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 the better you are at keeping all of God's commandments, the more wisdom you're going to have. Um, Psalm uh, 111 verse 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. His praise endureth forever. Saying the same thing. Just do His commandments. Um, the uh, uh, Proverbs chapter number 8 verse 13 says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. So the, the verse is teaching us that, that the fear of the Lord is also to, to hate evil. You know, God hates pride and arrogancy and the evil way and, and, and He commands us to stay away from these things. So I encourage everyone to, to just follow God's commandments, uh, fear the Lord, and, and realize every day, you know, that, that, that Jesus paid a, a, a huge debt for us. And um, we should be thankful for that, obviously, every day. Um, that's it. Let's just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you uh, for this uh, time that we have together um, to uh, learn the, your word and, and the fear um, and, and how the, the fear will, will teach us and, and, and the com keeping your commandments will, will bring us closer to you and, and to the wisdom that you have for us to learn. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.